Hi guys! Guess what? For my birthday, I went and got my ear pierced. I got a double helix and it was exciting and scary and amazing all at the same time. I 100% planned on filming the whole thing for you guys, but when I got to the tattoo and piercing place, the guy said that they don't allow filming. But I wasn't going to switch shops or piercers because this shop had the highest ratings around in like the area. So I wasn't going to switch just because they wouldn't let me film. I was much more concerned with getting the piercing done professionally and in a good environment, somewhere that I was comfortable with rather than being able to film. So what I'm gonna do for you guys today is just walk you through my experience and like the pain level. And if I leave anything out or you have further questions, you can go ahead and leave them in the comments down below and I will try my best to answer them for you guys. So I am on day three of my healing, of my double helix piercing. I am eventually going to switch them out to hoops but just for right now and through the cleaning process, I have the little studs in. I did get both helix piercings done at the same time. Starting from the beginning, I walk into the shop and the piercer and the other tattoo artist were both busy, so I had to ring a bell to get some attention and then they told me to fill out the like liability form and they had like little pamphlets and stuff that you would read for cleaning and know what you were going to expect and once you read that you could sign the like release form. You also had to be 18 years or older or have like a parent's consent. Then when I got that filled out the guy took my ID and made sure that I was 18 years or older. Then after that I waited a little while until the piercer was done with his previous appointments. Once the piercer was done with his previous clients, he called me back and he was sanitizing like his station. Once I got back into the room, he asked me what I wanted and I told him the double helix. I also showed him a picture of what I was wanting and he said, okay, well my ear is a little different so the placement is gonna be different and I said that was fine. He took a look at my ear, then he sanitized my ear, then he put me in like this direct lighting, and I think it was so he could see like through the cartilage, um, if that makes any sense. While I was in the direct light, he marked my ear, then he told me to go ahead and look at the placement to see if I liked it. So I went to the mirror, looked at it, I liked the placement, and I gave him the go ahead. So I sat down in the chair, and just like relaxed, sat back and relaxed as much as I could. I started getting nervous, but I was like, it's gonna be okay. I also asked him if it was better just to do one piercing or to do both piercings all at once. And he said, we'll see how you handle the first piercing. You are okay and you're fine. Then we can go ahead and do the second piercing. That the cleaning would be a little bit more difficult but if I took good care of it, that it would be fine. I couldn't see what he was doing. I believe as he went from behind, and had the needle, he pushed it through, but while he was pushing the needle through, he told me to take a deep breath, so I breathed in, and while he pushed through, I exhaled, and it was just really on a pain level, a really hard pinch. To me, it didn't hurt all that bad. In fact, I was expecting it to hurt way worse than it did. Um, maybe on a pain scale level for me, um, between like 1 and 10, it was like a 3 or a 4. I've had way worse. I was actually really, really surprised that it didn't hurt as bad as I thought it was going to. I thought it was going to hurt like a 7 or an 8 or higher. In my pain scale, everyone has different pain scales, so of course it may hurt really, really bad to some people, or it might not hurt as bad. Oh, but they pierce, then they put the jewelry in, I believe, so they use like a needle that's kind of like hollowed and then they put the jewelry in and they take the needle out, I believe, and then put the backing on. The part that hurt the most 
for me was when he was putting the backing on and it really wasn't that bad it just was a little bit more tender because it was freshly pierced so like the little bit of movement it just kind of made it hurt i said wow that really didn't hurt as bad as i thought so go ahead and do the second piercing and he said okay so he got a new needle i believe and like this place was really clean he went ahead and did the second piercing it was the same as the first i would breathe in and he would push the needle and when he pushed the needle i exhaled once again it didn't really hurt it was the same as the first um about a three or a four on the pain scale for me and then when he was putting the jewelry on, I'd say it was like a good four. He went ahead and sterilized it again and was making sure that the blood wasn't like dripping or anything like that, trying to just keep everything clean. And once the blood subsided, then he told me like care instructions and I was done. I also purchased this Celine wash just to keep it clean and it's a spray. So I'm able to spray it on front and back and also like on a q-tip and keep it clean that way. After the piercing was done, I could definitely feel that there were earrings in there. Um, they did feel a little sore and they did throb. I would get little tinges of pain and little bits of throbbing every now and then. Especially if like the wind came through and the air would hit my ear. Other than that, there's not really any other pain um, except for if I accidentally bump my ear. My ear still feels a little sore. I am on day three of the healing process. He told me it could take up to usually anywhere from three to six months because cartilage heals a lot slower than like earlobes or other places. He also told me that it can take up to a year just depending on how fast each individual heals. I really love the piercings. I think they look really good and I'm extremely happy with them. My ear, I feel like it's looking really good and it's healing really well. I did end up taking ibuprofen a couple of times, not because it was painful, but just because he told me that it does help with the swelling and I didn't want my ear to swell up. So I did take ibuprofen. That is my experience with it. If you have any questions, you can go ahead and leave them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button because when you hit that bell button, it notifies you when I post a video and I do post on Mondays and Thursdays. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.